Hi, my name is Ben Plesier and I am a fervent user of Wappler. Before embarking on the CRUD actions for an image, with this video I will show you how to create a library item called, Image Resize. The use of library items in Wappler, greatly enhance development time, as you will see when I move on to the next video. This is what we ended up with in the previous video. Here we have the CRUD actions for categories. When done, this is what I want the layout to look like, an image followed by a file upload field. For the folder structure, I have opted to place all of the uploaded images in an uploads folder. This is so that, when the site is published, the contents of the uploads folder do not get uploaded. Inside the uploads folder, there is a folder for images, with subfolders for categories and products. As we proceed with this playlist, there will be more folders to come. Now for the library item. To resize an image, the image needs to be loaded, resized and saved as a resized image. To load an image, we need to know the path of the original image. To resize an image, we need to know the required size. To save the image, we need to know the destination folder and the name of the image. Remember these parameters because I will use these for the library item. To create the library item, I go to the workflows tab. Here I add a new library item and call it image underscore resize. In the JSON file, I create the parameters that were previously discussed. Make sure that the width type is a number. Then for the actions. These are also as previously discussed. First, the image is loaded. The image path is the path parameter. Next comes the image resize. The width is the width parameter. Lastly comes the save image. The format is set to WebP. The path includes the folder parameter. The template is the name parameter with the WebP extension. Set the overwrite option and save the file. That is it for the library item. In the next video, I will show you how to use this library item. I hope to see you there. Thank you for watching.